Hello folks, uh, I'm back with another video. I'm Headley, uh, in case you didn't know, another fat bearded man talking about records. Um, now, thank you very much for everyone that watched my last video. Um, it seemed to do quite well. Um, I did a video about folk rock duos and if you haven't watched it, get over and watch it because people seem to like it. I had some great responses and great um, uh, comments. Uh, people introduced me to other stuff and suggesting other bands. Great stuff. That's what this is all about, that to and fro. I love that. I love that. Anyway, I had previously asked um, whether you like themed videos or um, or kind of a pick and mix miscellany of music all clumped together. And you basically said the second, the latter. Um, and so that's why I did a themed video, just to get in your face. Anyway, <laughs> sorry. Um, Anyway, so I thought what I would do is uh, this will be a, um, a pick and mix miscellany of various stuff that I've picked up. Um, generally, uh, this is all new stuff that I bought, not necessarily new out, although there was there is one, I think. Um, yeah, I'm already rambling. Uh, John, my mate, John, the six inch pianist, can rattle off five of these records with needle drops in about eight minutes. I try and do that and it pushes 20 minutes. And I think I know why. It's this bit, isn't it? Right, so, a record. This is uh, Vera Solar, uh, Peacemaker. This was released earlier in the year. And potentially, potentially, it's, it's, it might be my album of the year. I'm, I'm loving it. It's great. It's um, a kind of a gothic noir Americana with uh, flourishes of flourishes of oh god what a wanker um with a uh, bits <laughs> with bits of um uh, mariachi and kind of uh Ennio morricone kind of things if you picture a bit or, or visualize no think about the music of calexico and you get uh, a little bit of a, a um, an idea there's some of that in here it's got a nice kind of um uh poetic uh, lyrics. She um, studied uh, literature at university, and you, that comes through in the in the lyrics, which are poetic yet, um, yeah, but but witty. Um, and yeah, I I often don't respond to lyrics, but these these are lyrics that, that make me listen. You know, a bit like um, uh, Elvis Costello. He's he's got a way with words. Anyway. And we're going off on that. Oh, this, yeah, that's the back. And it's got a rather lovely gold. Yeah, look at that. That's nice. Lovely record. Anyway, um, I could tell you who her father is, but I'm not going to because I want I want her to. No, I shouldn't even mention it. I said I was going to mention it, and I've now I've mentioned it. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, Dan Aykroyd. She's the daughter of, ne she's a Nepo baby. But quite frankly, I think she's better than Dan Aykroyd. <gasps> um, anyway, yeah, she deserves to be... Um, in fact, I think her name is not Vera Sola. It's uh, Danielle <laughs> Aykroyd. Oh, well. Yeah, guilty by association. So, yeah, she should, she should be um, judged on the merits of her music, and it is great. Have a listen. So say... Come and spark up the forest Out lay the twilight her glow Make way for the dark to set asunder Our city by the ashes overthrow It was only but a sentence Shadow born In the falling of a all How quick We falsified the promise To take tomorrow Out on loan Okay, that was Vera Sola Possibly my album of the year Lovely, lovely stuff Right, okay Next up, that had a bit of a Latin tinge, you know, in that sort of mariachi style through some of it. Um, we're going to go full on Latin with this. This is the Mavericks uh, and it's uh, En Espanol, uh, which is apparently their first um, uh, 
uh, Spanish language uh, release. Um, and I love that cover. It's great. It's that kind of Day of the Dead, isn't it? Um, and this is a double album. There they are. Now, um, you probably know uh, the Mavericks for the uh, Dance the Night Away was their big hit. Crossed over. It even made it into the charts in the UK. Um, I, yeah, it's, it's, it's good enough. It's, it's okay. But I like their blend of country uh, and Latin uh, music. Uh, which this really pushes to the fore, obviously. Raul Malo, um, the singer um, and writer of and a lot of the songs on this, has such a beautiful baritone voice. Uh, he's absolutely great. He did some great stuff with Lost Super 7 as well, um, and he stands out on there as well. Um, so, yeah, it's a double album. Um, and the first track, uh, I'm going to butcher this, La Citiera. That's not right. I think it means the damsel or something. And I know that from uh, a, an album by Omara Portundo, um, one of the Buena Vista Social Club Cuban musicians. So there's a lot of Cuban rhythms and sounds on this. There's other Latin stuff. Um, the thing that's quite nice is on the inner sleeve, it tells you who's written it or who's famous for, for recording it because there are cover versions. So, for example... It mentions Omora Portundo on that first song. Um, but it also mentions people like its original standard by Juan Gabriel. Um, uh, uh, yeah. No vale la pena. It's not really worth it. Um, yeah. Uh, and uh, there's even one on here that was done by Julio Iglesias. Um, so it kind of skirts the slightly cheesy Latin kind of, well, you know, um, Jose Iglesias. Um, but um, it's a cracking album. Lovely. Some of them has got some lovely orchestration on it. Uh, lots of um, trumpets, um, strings, things like that. A cracking record. Check out the Mavericks en Español. <laughs> Mavericks. Uh, that was released in uh, 2020, so it's only four years old, but I had to get a copy. Lovely. Okay, next up. Uh, I don't really so show a, a huge amount of soul music. I leave that to John, the six-inch pianist. He seems to have that in hand. Um, but I do like soul music, and every so often something pops up that I, I kind of jump on. Uh, and this is uh, Marcella and Her Lovers, uh, Got You Found. Now, this was released, I think, in uh, also in 2020, but this has only just come out. No, I think it was released uh, 2022 or 2023 on vinyl. Um, and uh, so, yeah, Marcella René or René, René Simeon. Marcella René Simeon. Um, uh, that's the Marcella. Uh, and she is the daughter of a famous Zydeco musician um, and was born in Louisiana, obviously. Well, not obviously, but being the, father, the, the daughter of a Zydeco musician, you kind of expect some sort of Louisiana link. Um, but she now resides in, in um, uh, Memphis. And this is a nice blend of kind of modern uh, Memphis soul, twinned every so often where she goes back to her Creole roots and throws in some kind of Zydeco um, elements to her stuff. In fact, those are the, probably the songs that I, I like the most because it's that nice juxtaposition. I mean, not juxtaposition, but blending of the soul music uh, and, uh, and the Zydeco sounds. But uh, yeah, a really lovely record. Um, let's see, have a look at the back. Not much there to see. Um, 
anything more to say about it? No. Yeah, soul music on my channel. Not bad, eh? I looked in your face, I could see the pain There was a strain, and I felt your refrain When I think about it now I don't feel a thing No Okay, next up, um, we've got some country music, of course. Uh, this is Rocking Bonnie Western Bound Combo with, uh, what's it called? It's called Keeping the Rain Slack. This is from 2001. Um, this is a, um, it looks it looks lovely in retro, doesn't it? But um, it is a new, new, new band. They are an Italian band uh, on the El Toro label, which is a uh, Spanish label. And I'm listening to American music in the UK. <laughs> it's crazy, isn't it? Anyway, um, this uh, is a kind of combination of uh, really authentic sounding um, uh, Western swing, honky tonk, bit of hillbilly boogie. Um, you get lots of cover versions of things like Merle Travis um bob wills i think songs that were done by uh ernest tubb um yeah i mean it's 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 the sort of i mean as authenticity goes it's uh it's um not the most authentic but it bloody well sounds it and i love it it's great so rocky bonnie uh western bound combo so italian uh band playing brilliantly like a, a real 1940s um, American outlet, uh, outfit. <laughs> Fabulously retro, rocking Bonnie Western bound combo. Retro fun, love that. Okay, I think I've saved the best for last. Um, this is a record I got turned on to watching one of the um, Amoeba Records What's In My Bag videos that they, they put on YouTube. Um, I watch a lot of them, they're really good. Um, you know, even artists you've not necessarily heard of or, or bands that sort of pickle death metal but it, they're always interesting and there's some little gems that they that they introduce you to and this was one of those I can't remember who it was that suggested this or, or it was in their bag but um yeah I, I thank them because it's fabulous and that is um over fields and mountains by Branko Mattia um that's how you spell it um yeah, butchered the, the pronunciation, I'm sure. Now, uh, this is, as you can see, it's the Numero Group, so it's a reissue. This is music that was recorded in the, in the 1970s. I think 1974 he, he initially uh, released uh, his first album um, that he recorded himself uh, and put out. A little bit of history. He's Yugoslavian, born in 1923. Um, uh, that's now Serbia. Uh, he then moved with his parents to Belgrade. Their war came. He ends up befriending a GI from America. 
Um, or where else is the GI going to be from? Um, and he decides he wants to go to America, but he has to make a couple of steps before he eventually manages that. Uh, the first one is um, being sent to uh, be interred at a uh, displaced persons camp in the UK, in Yorkshire. And this is the interesting thing. Uh, well, for me anyway. Um, I did some research and that camp... Um, is just north of York, which is about 18 miles from where I am as we speak, as I speak. Anyway, so that's kind of interesting, the, the bit of history. Um, he then uh, moved to London. I think he was a barber, um, tinkering with electronics and, um, and, and, and stuff like that, uh, and then moved to Canada and then eventually to America, um, where he set up shop with his wife and... Um, uh, yeah, and in his spare time, he would produce these records or recordings, and he would record uh, Yugoslavian folk music. <laughs> now, I can see some of you going, oh, bloody hell, not more Yugoslavian folk music. But because he would make his own guitars, and there's there's him doing a bit of a Jimi Hendrix on the back, <laughs> cracking stuff... Um, uh, he would also make his own effects units um, because of his uh, electrical skills, uh, electronic skills. Um, and he would create this wonderful atmosphere of effects of um, echo and vibrato, um, this shimmering sound, which makes this music completely magical, completely ethereal. Um, if you think about the, the, the music that's produced by uh, Daniel Lanoir. It's got something of that shimmeriness about it. But um, yeah, so he's doing these Yugoslavian folk tunes um, with this heavily sort of effects laden um, guitar, just solo, just him and the guitar. Um, and it is absolutely wonderful. I like to put it on an evening. Um, it's great music to just chill out to. Um, yeah. So just a couple of things. It's a nice uh, release. There he is there, a bit more up to date than that initial picture. There's his um, passport, obviously, when he came out of Europe. Um, and uh, there he is recording at home. Yeah, two tape players and a microphone. <laughs> um, yeah, so he'd set up his own things. So, yeah, I believe that this is taken from that's the original album that was released uh traditional uh folk songs from traditional and folk songs from yugoslavia yeah and i think it's i think it's a compilation of that and another one uh, released in, in 1980 but yeah absolutely fabulous if you haven't heard this album and you're open to a bit of yugoslavian folk played by um a heavenly ethereal guitarist um go and listen to this i'll leave you with a, a clip from that um until I see you again, I'm not looking at the camera. Um, I just look at my face. I love looking at my face. Look at the camera. Look at the camera. Right, that's it. I've gone off the rails now, so I think it's time for me to say bye-bye for now. <laughs>